Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we are once again taking a look at those heroes in a half shell. That's right, I've got another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review for you and we're looking at Leonardo from this past summer's film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now these figures were released in conjunction with the movie and the figures that I bought were actually in a four pack that was exclusive to Target so I got all four turtles in one purchase which I thought was a pretty good deal. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the packaging on this figure. Alright guys, taking a look at the packaging, as we come across the front of the box, what you're going to see is an image of the four turtles from the film on the left. You will see a window box packaging that features all four turtles from the film, along with their accessories going from left to right. You can then see that this box is made up of various shades of green, with the Ninja Turtles logo down in there at the bottom. And off to the right side, it does say that this is the Ninja Turtles Group Pack by Playmates. Flipping this package around now, you do see in the upper left hand corner some images of the turtles from this movie. You've got the logo for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well as a bio. Go ahead and pause now to read that. On the right you do have the images of all the other figures in this wave, and at the bottom you do have a complete look at the figures that are inside this packaging. Alright guys, well that's the packaging. Let's go ahead and get back to the Ninja Turtle that we're reviewing today. Alright toy fans, and here we have Leonardo out of the packaging, and let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at that sculpting and paintwork. What you're immediately going to notice about this Leonardo is that there's a lot more detail on this Ninja Turtle figure than we've seen in the past, as far as sculpting is concerned anyway. As you look at his head, you're going to see some uh, skin texturing there. You'll see it on his arms and on his shoulders. There's also a lot more stuff, I guess you could say, on this Ninja Turtle. The armor work for these turtles, or the clothing on these turtles, was very much sort of a hodgepodge situation in the new Turtle movie. It really looked like they just grabbed whatever they could find in the sewer to dress themselves. And that shows on this figure with all the detail that we have on here. You'll see he's got a wrap around his waist, he's got sort of a bamboo armor on his chest, he's got this scarf around his neck. So you look at his legs, there's more wraps and stuff on his legs. Just a lot of sculpted work on these turtles. But the downside is that, for all the detail that this Leonardo has, he doesn't have that much paint work going on. And I guess that's so the, they can keep the cost of the figure low, which I appreciate, but overall it just looks like he's missing a lot of paint work. But I do appreciate the sculpting on this figure, so I definitely give it points for that. Taking a look at the accessories now for this Leonardo figure, we can see that he does come with a set of scabbards for his twin katana blades. And this scabbard is actually sculpted pretty nicely, there's a lot of detail on there. A lot of wrap work, just like you saw on the turtle, just a lot of detail, it's not painted though. And both of these scabbards are functional, the swords will come out, and each sword is the exact same sculpt. But there is some uh, sculpting work on the handle there, and just a little bit of sculpting on the blade. And each one of these swords fits nicely into Leonardo's hands, they just plug right in there. There you go. And the scabbard itself actually has a peg on it, so you can actually plug this scabbard into this hole on the back of Leonardo. And it just attaches just like that, so it's great. He's got some weapon storage, and he's got some great weapons to go along with him. Moving on to articulation, we can see that Leonardo does have a head that'll rotate a full 360 degrees. It is on a ball joint, so it can look up uh, actually not that far at all, and it looks down not that much either. And the head actually comes off pretty easily, so if you move it around too much it will pop off, but it goes right back on. He does have a hinge at the shoulder that allows his arm to go up that far and down. It'll rotate a full 360 degrees. There is no upper bicep swivel, but he does have a 360 degree swivel at his elbow. And a single joint that'll move forward that far and back. There is no wrist articulation. Uh, there's the same articulation on the other arm. There's no waist articulation, but he does have some joints on his hips that allow his leg to move forward about that far. Just a little bit hindered by the wrap. His leg will go back only about that far, return to standing position. There is a rotation at the leg that'll turn a full 360 degrees if I work it around. There's even a single jointed knee that'll bend back about that far and bend forward about that far. And there's also a 360 degree rotation at the knee. There is no ankle articulation or toe articulation. And that completes the articulation for this Leonardo figure. Height wise we can see that Leonardo does come in at right around 5 inches tall. For some size comparison. Here we have 2014 movie Leonardo compared to 2003's animated series Leonardo. And compared to the Leonardo from the 2006 animated series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fast Forward. And compared to the 2013 Battleshell Leonardo from the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV series. And finally, here's Leonardo compared to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Alright Toy fans, well that's my review of the 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie version Leonardo. And overall, I'm kind of in the middle of the road on this figure. 
I mean, this is a milestone figure. It's another representation of Leonardo in the newest movie that's come out. So if you're a fan of turtles and want to get every incarnation of those individual turtles, you definitely want to pick this figure up for your collection. Like I said, it's kind of a milestone figure. But at the same time, he falls short with articulation. With that wrap he's got around his waist, the hips just can't move as much as you want them to. He doesn't have any ankle articulation. So for the most part, he's just going to stand. and You're not going to get a lot of dynamic poses out of this guy. And he doesn't have any wrist articulation. For a character who's got twin weapons that could be positioned, or should be able to be positioned in many different ways, he just isn't really able to strike a pose with his swords as nicely as you'd like. So, like I said, middle of the road figure, you don't have to have him, but if you're trying to collect every incarnation of the Ninja Turtles like I am, he's going to be one that you're going to give for your collection. Well, that's my review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit me up on Twitter at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and cowabunga!